So why don't we start, uh, why don't we start with you, Amanda. Um, tell me what drew you to Stanford. You've lived in the Middle East. Um, you were at Dartmouth, which is a far different place than Stanford. What made you come out to Stanford? Sure. Um, well, when I, was at, uh, when I was living in Bahrain, I actually came to Stanford when I was 17 for an international baccalaureate camp. And I knew that at one point in my life, I needed to come back to the school. Um, I absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, I fell in love with um, the, the fact that you can be both laid back and productive at the same time. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, the collaborative nature of the school, uh, the community that the school provides for you, and the close, tight-knit relationship that you actually have with your professors once you're there. And uh, all of that was a gut instinct at the time because I was 17. How did I know that I was going to end up at the GSB? But, you know, going through, you know, my Dartmouth experience, I wanted something very similar to that, but in a grad school uh, where I was able to form really meaningful relationships. And I have to say that every alum that I had met, I was absolutely impressed with and absolutely loved. And I said, you know what, I want to be part of this community. So those and maybe a little less snow too. A little less way. snow was pretty <laughs> helpful. Yeah. <laughs> so how is, I'm interested in um, who has affected you during your time at Stanford? Have you met an individual, a faculty member, or a student, a fellow student, that's really shaped or changed your time, Amanda? Uh, sure. I would have to say that almost everybody I meet, and not to sound cliche or anything, but the diversity of perspectives at the business school is amazing. And uh, I have to say, I learn something new from everybody I, I encounter there. Um, and that's just added to the richness of my life. Um, more specifically, I can point to a faculty member, uh, Baba Shiv, uh, who teaches marketing there. And uh, I came from analyzing uh, tech media telco investments, and I know that I have a love for new media. And he's a marketing professor, and I told him, you know what, I really want to go through and do something within digital marketing. And he was just very supportive and uh, told me, you know what, I have this startup uh, who is looking for somebody to you know, do an independent study for them so that you can maybe get your feet wet and uh, really just dig your hands into, into a project. So he helped introduce me to the CEO, and uh, I'm doing that independent study next term. So I'm very excited about that, and he's just helped me open some doors, uh, both externally and internally. So. That's great. Amanda, how about surprises? Have you found anything? Did you discover anything along in your time so far that was different than what you might have expected? Positive or negative? We can go either way. <laughs> um, well, I think there was a lot of reinforcement. And so I think it was more so the degree to which what I was feeling was actually really confirmed at the school. So um, this is sort of a bit positive and negative. Uh, so about a year ago, a little over a year ago now, unfortunately, we lost a couple of classmates. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was it was amazing how much of a sense of a community there was at the GSB around that. And uh, I mean, Derek Bolton, our admissions um, officer, was in tears talking about how much these students meant to him and to the school and how much you know, they meant to us. And uh, it was just so touching, I have to say. And I don't think that I would have ever been able to experience that at any other school. I've never heard of anything like that happening at any other school where you know, we all get together. We've only known these uh, people who, you know, may they rest in peace. Uh, we only knew them for a couple of weeks. But the intense bonds that we had formed already with these people was, I mean, that just shed a light on that. Uh, just how quickly you truly become, have meaningful relationships. Yeah, uh, it really forms school. a community. I was yeah. telling the freshmen, when I sit out in the quad every year at reunion, we sit out for dinner on the quad. and. My wife and I usually sit with the 50th um, reunion class. And it, it, it's like people who formed their best friends when they were undergraduates. And they've known these people for all this time. And it's a remarkably strong bond. Yeah. It absolutely is. Lifelong friends. Yes, exactly right. Exactly right. But, uh, Amanda, what would you tell them about wh why should they think about coming to a place like Stanford? What would you tell them? Well, I came from across the globe, I guess. You did. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I have to say, it's been one of the most exciting experiences of my life. And I would do it all over again. And I'm really glad that I still have a few more months to go uh, <laughs> before I have to at least leave the university. And I'm not entirely sure whether or not I'm staying in Silicon Valley or not. It's all going to depend on career options. Um, but I say take the leap because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, it, you know, when you're doing your due diligence on schools, just 
just look at the things that matter most to you and why, which is, you know, what the business school asks of people, is to really be introspective about what matters most to you and why in the application process. And then from there, sometimes, you know, people realize, oh, there are some things that matter to me and they are in line with Stanford's culture, or they're not, right? So if you really feel that you belong to a school, I think no matter how far it is, uh, you should definitely go out and go for it. So yeah. once in a lifetime opportunity.